So, last time I released a video sharing from my point of view the core problem of Honkai and the result was very different than what I expected. The comment section really blew up. I got over 700 comments on that video now and honestly, I did not expect this many people still care about Honkai. In fact, people care so much they even wrote whole pages of suggestions on how to make the game better. So I went ahead and read pretty much every comment. And I actually found a lot of nice suggestions. I tried to compile the good ideas together and add in my own points. In the end, I came up with three major improvements that I think will make Honkai a much better game. But before we get into the video, let me get something straight. A lot of people think the devs should just give us more free stuff, or reduce the crystal cost of gacha. We have to realize that miHoYo is a business, and asking a business to make less money, it just doesn't work. The three improvements in this video will try to create a win-win situation for both the players and the company. That is, trying to improve the player experience while having minimal impact or even boost revenue for miHoYo. With that being said, let's go into the first change. Now, I think we can all agree that Honkai's character progression system is, well, shit. Ranking up a character from S to SS rank requires 100 fragments, and Awakened characters needs even more. This is a super long grind with no improvements in the middle, which makes for a horrible experience. So why not split up this process into a few segments? The first change I'm going to propose is to rework the character rank up system. For example, let's say I'm grinding nice fire fragments right now, she is currently S rank and needs 100 fragments for SS rank. With the current system, the first 99 fragments gives you absolutely nothing. But at the 100 fragments, suddenly you gain a huge boost. But that 100 fragments can take a very long time, especially for newer players. So now let's change it up a bit. SS rank Nice Wire unlocks 3 new skills and some extra stats. So why not split the rank up into 4 segments? You can unlock any skill with 25 fragments, and after unlocking all 3 skills, the last 25 fragments unlocks the bonus stats. In the end, SS rank Nice Wire is still the same, you just have some of the key skills earlier. Instead of grinding weeks without any improvements, you can get improvements every once in a while, making the whole experience a lot better. This change will also solve the S rank fragment problem. Imagine you got lucky and pulled two Shadow Knight cards. The extra card turns into 30 fragments, and the 30 fragments are completely useless. Because you'll need 70 more fragments to rank up, and she's not farmable. Now with this change, you can unlock one skill with the extra card. Shadow Knight has two very good skills at SS rank. So with this system, you might even get some small spender to consider pulling an extra card. And let's face it, the whales are going to pull SS or max rank anyways. So this is a win-win for both the players and the company. The players get a better progression experience, and the game might even make more money off of it. Now this change is probably the least likely to be implemented, because let's face it, Honkai makes a lot of money from its terrible gacha system. I went through a lot of comments, and I really couldn't come up with a solution that makes a true win-win situation. So this is the best I've got. In the new 3.3 patch, they're adding a new battle pass system that rewards you with an item called Radiant Crystal. You can trade a set amount of Radiant Crystals for a specific piece of gacha gear. My idea is that Focus Gacha, instead of dropping gears, it drops a set amount of Radiant Crystals instead. And the gear available for exchange rotates weekly like the Focus Gacha we have right now. 
This way you can pick and choose which pieces of gear you want and avoid duplicates or trash gears. It also works well with the battle pass progression system they're adding. I think combining gacha with farmable progression is overall a pretty good experience. Obviously this is quite bad for miHoYo because now you spend less crystals on dupes and trash, but I really cannot come up with a better way to make the current focus gacha better. If you have some brilliant ways to make a win-win situation with the current focus gacha, let me know in the comment section. I'm not smart enough to think of a solution to deal with the duplicates and the trash gear, but some people out there probably can. This idea came to me when I was deleting some useless apps on my phone. I've realized Honkai is more than 4 gigs big now. Honkai is sitting on a mountain of in-game assets and they barely use any of it. Think about it. Honkai had many great events like the Reburn event, the Winter Rhapsody event, and so on. And they are making new events with new art every patch. The new events from Honkai are very hit or miss. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. So instead of making new events every month, why not reuse some of the older assets and make more weekly game modes? Honkai really needs more weekly PvE modes with meaningful rewards, and miHoYo can do this with basically no effort. The amount of game modes they can do with the existing game is just crazy, so I'll just list one example here. They can already do randomly generated dungeons, so why not make it a weekly thing? Think Winter Rhapsody event, but with random rooms. You can find and open chests that contains materials, character fragments, crystals, whatever. And this dungeon refreshes every week. They can even throw in some guild co-op into this dungeon, so you actually have a reason to play with your friends. They can basically do this mode with zero effort because everything has been done before. Let's say if the Abyss only runs once per week and the other half of the Abyss reward is put into a weekly PvE dungeon mode. Sounds pretty good, right? Having a PvE mode with good progression rewards is really healthy for the game. The amount of stuff they can do with Honkai's base game is just endless. Just running through the game, you can see how many good stages just sit there, barely being played. Path of Apotheosis It's a good direction and Honkai could really use more weekly modes besides Abyss and Memorial. And that's it for this video. The passion from the Honkai community really surprised me, so I felt kinda obligated to do this video. Honkai really really deserves better than being just another shitty gacha game, and I really do hope the game gets better. For now, I'll switch back to making Honkai guides like usual, and I will try Genshin Impact when it comes out. I'll probably make video on it since it looks interesting enough to me, but we'll see. What changes do you want to see in Honkai? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.